Hello everyone, what we have here today is a Nikon 35 F2 fantastic objective, small size and sharp enough for everyday purpose. So the problem with this objective here does is that it has oily blades, which is not necessarily a bad thing for us because this means that you will be able to get it for a good price. This sample here, for example, with this really, really bad oily blades we have here, I paid only 100 euros. But as I will show you guys, um, we'll be able to fix it in no time. So let's start this assembly the objective. Okay, so to remove the front optics, we need to remove first this plastic frame here which is really really simple to remove well, I got it loose already so it can be moved easily but if it doesn't come the simplest way to, to do to get it loose is to wiggle this surface a little bit so it get loose because sometimes it's just uh, blocking to it and then the second thing you could do to get it removed is to use some tape that you just glue on one side and then you just have to pull you see and then you're able to get this thing out well this is also useful for cleaning the front element because with the plastic thing you're not able to come edges of the of the glass whereas removing this small element here which is near coming you will be able to completely clean the lenses so we have the first part removed no? okay so we got the front element removed, now we're going to remove this part, which is just plastic part. And the way I like to do this kind of things, because these objectives are quite fragile, is to use a big screwdriver with an adapter for small thing. So I'm able to really push and add good torque to the screw, because yeah, once you destroy the head of the screw, there isn't much you can do, um, save using a screw extractor or just drilling into your objective. But this is not something you want to do because you have all this metal dust which is going, going to come to your optics and yeah, you just want, don't want to do it. So, advice use a big screwdriver with an adapter for using small screwdrivers and then once you get the thing loose you can use your sander a small screwdriver to protect your objective from getting damaged I guess we'll come to the optical part. And not applying what it preach. So just to get it loose, make a screwdriver. And then the job
this is the first time I'm doing the disassembly with you guys. So, be patient. Okay, so you see, I pull it a bit, it came out, and now we are directly into the blades. So, the next thing to do is to start playing them. Or what we could do, since this objective is quite simple, is to remove the back. And like that, we will get everything and we will be able to clean the brakes. Okay, so um, I tried to remove the back, but uh, at the end I wasn't able to gain access to the blades so I think what retains the blades is this copper element here which these three screws and the glue so what we're going to do now is try to remove it and then see what happens I hope I'm just not going to break everything, but so far I was able to disassemble it completely back and put it back together again. So, how to break this glue now? Okay, it seems that it can be scratch. No problem here. Okay, yes, the glue seems to snap easily. Just let's try to avoid getting it inside. And then how can we get this thing to move? Okay, so uh, we remove the glue and then I manage actually to to get this thing out. Uh, I was trying to put it back so be able to check it was that I would be able to put it back together in a few minutes so for this I probably need some tweezers just to get it good because it's quite Okay, I just try to get it um, uh, from the middle or something like that. Yeah, okay, snap. And then once it is snap, you will be able to remove it. And then just after that. the blade pin comes out this is quite delicate so just try not to, to mess it up because yeah you see This is not going to be easy because as soon as you remove this small plate, you get all the blades which will be free. But then now you're able to clean it freely. 